Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashimi, I was shy. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone, peace and salutations to the hopefully elect. Coming at you with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashimi, I was shy. And I want to start with the book of Nahum, chapter 1, verse 1. It says, The burden of Nineveh, the book of the vision of Nahum, the Elkishite, right? Now, when you people see, when Chris, so called Christians, when they see something like when it says the Elkishite, they would automatically say, well, Nahum wasn't an, Isra wasn't an Israelite. Well, yes, he was, okay? He was just being, he was just being called an Elkishite, all right? Just like how they try to say Job is not an Israelite because it's, uh, it says Job is a, uh, uh, Job comes from the land of Uz, right? You had Israelites coming from particular areas, but their seed, it still goes back to Israelites. Matter of fact, let me get this before I continue on. All right, so let's crush this argument. Uh, I believe it's the book of Amos chapter 2. Let's see. Yep, Amos chapter 2 verse 11. It says, and I, has and I have raised, and I raised up your sons for prophets and your young men for Nazarites. Is it not even thus, O ye children of Israel, saith the Lord? So right here it's letting you know the prophets, right? The prophets are Israelites. Nazarites still go back to Israelites, okay? Those are Israelites who took the Nazarite vow. But the point is, they are Israelites. You see? Because we are the ones who can do the service of the Most High. You can read that in Amos. Almost nine, but I want to try to stick to the point. I want to drift off. Go back to Nahum chapter one, verse one. It says, "The burden of Nineveh, the book of the vision of Nahum, the Elkishai." Right. So when you go into this word burden, it says burden. I want to try to hit the, the main points. It said, "An utterance, chiefly a doom." Mmm. Right. A desire, prophecy, and I just said I wanted to hit the main one. So prophecy, desire, chiefly of a doom. You see? Now, we will be considered, the minute of the Lord determines the prophecy today, we will be considered a burden to America, Babylon, and Great. We are we are a burden to the elites. Right? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, uh, you know, each and every day. Exposing This devil Right Exposing this devil For all the wickedness For all the lies That he has pushed out on the planet earth Planet earth Especially Especially You know doing so With the holy scriptures You see So as this devil is Continuous being ex Continually is being exposed We are what We are his burden This is why when you see on YouTube what do we do? He strikes our channels. He says misinfo, misinfo. Okay. He says uh, we we break his community guidelines. He says uh, hate speech. All these different things, right? But the same videos exist when you're dealing with you know other individuals, right? No matter what they may, may be talking about, they may say it slightly different, or they may say it's just the same. But somehow. Their videos continue to stay up. And it's nothing but misinfo. So-called, right? So-called. Because a lot of it be the truth. They just like to put misinfo because they like to take the truth down. But let's say for hate speech and violence and crime. They leave those videos up. See, when we talk about, you know, we use we bring out the scriptures in uh Romans 9 and 13. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. Right? They say this is hate speech. But then they'll leave up videos of artists, Israelite artists, talking about destruction, hate crimes to other Israelite, you know, the Israelite people, right? Now, even though these individuals are spiritually dead, okay, they're still Israelites, and Esau likes to keep that up because he knows it's destructive to our people, right? Nevertheless, we are burdened. To Babylon the Great, so like I said, he likes to take down our YouTube videos and things of such. 
You see? Because he wants to try to he wants to try to stop this truth, but he can't. Verse two it says the Most High is jealous, and the Lord revengeth. The Lord revenges and is furious. What? Mm, not according to the so-called Christians. The Lord doesn't revenge. They say that isn't fair. Okay, the Lord would never do anything like that. Well, wait a minute. Let's read it one more time. The Most High is jealous. Mm, it's another characteristic that they don't talk about of the Lord. And the Lord revengeth, the Lord revengeth, and is furious. Another characteristic they don't talk about the Lord. See, when they only mention the Lord, they talk about love. They talk about mercy, which the Lord has that. The Lord is compassionate, right? But the Lord is also just. The Lord is also about judgment. The Lord, the Lord is the man of war. You see, they don't mention these things. They don't mention anything. Matter of fact, let's. This is the spirit jumping all over the place. Now let's go to the book of Second Thessalonians one verse six. It says, "Seeing what seeing, it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you." Who is this speaking to? This is speaking to Israelites. Okay. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you and to you who are troubled rest with us when the Lord Yahweh Shai, hmm, when the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels doing what? Verse 8, in flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not the most high and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. You see, another contrary to popular popular belief, when Yahweh Shai returns, well, the holy angels, as soon as the Lord, the heavenly Father, whose true name is Yahweh, the ancient Paleo Hebrew, as soon as He give Him that green light, it's on. You see, He ain't He ain't being called the King of King, Lords of Lords, for no reason. You see, mm. but you people just don't know. So let's go back to the book of Nahum. Chapter 1, verse 2, it says, The Most High is jealous and the Lord revengeth. The Lord revengeth and is furious. Think the Lord ain't pissed off at all the madness that's going on out here in America, Babylon the Great? You think the Lord ain't pissed off the way how you Israelites conduct yourselves? And you're the holy people. Right? People are supposed to be following you. But now we do know the curse is saved. You know, your enemies are going to be the head. Roughly paraphrasing, that the, that the enemy, your enemies are going to be the head, and you're going to be the tail. You see, but really, Israel, we above all these nations. Okay, these nations are supposed to follow our ways. These nations are supposed to say, uh, you know, they're, they're they're supposed to you know speak highly of us. You know. Good what I actually wanted to say But yeah they're, they're supposed to speak highly of us Okay Let's see if I can get it Cause I don't want to get past it let's, let's jump to The book of Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 5 Real quick it says Behold I have taught you statutes, statutes And judgments Even as the Lord my God commanded me That ye should do so in the land whether you ye go to possess it, right? Instructions, guidelines. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statues. This is what the other nations are going to hear, and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. And we left off from that, and now nations look at us like what? A bunch of brute beasts, how Jake carried themselves. Right? I'm not talking about the elect, but I'm talking about the two-thirds right now. A bunch of brute beasts on how they carry themselves. A people of no honor. A people of no value. Right? A people with no morals. A people with no breath. Verse 7 says, What nation is there so great who have the most high so nigh unto them as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for? See? Lock him dealing with uh you know under the weather. Let's continue. Verse 2 it says the most high is jealous and the Lord revenges. 
The Lord revengeth and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries and he reserveth wrath for his enemies. Mm. You see? I got to get this. I got to get the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 4 says, The Lord hath made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked. Yea, even the wicked. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So this is what a lot of you people are prepared for. Right? You wicked for the day of evil. Right? So when you read it again, it says the Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries and reserve of wrath for his enemies. That's what's coming to you other nations. This is what's coming to you wicked ones of the, na of the nation of Israel. It says the Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not all acquit the wicked. Mm, what does acquit mean? Right? To make guilt, to make uh, uh, not guilty, to make uh, guiltless, to make blameless. To cleanse, blameless, be guiltless, okay? To go unpunished. No, the wicked is not going to go unpunished. You, you two-third Israelites, you're not going to go unpunished. Right? You, you see, I, I seen this post the other day of, you know, you got Israelites putting up. It says, real Israelites don't hate, uh, don't hate people. Like, what the, what the fuck are you talking about? It says, it says real Israelites don't hate Something to that effect And I'm just like What, what are you even talking about but That's another lesson That's another lesson See because a lot of you Israelites you, A lot of you are, are Israelites running around with no breath too Just on the internet Just on the, on the comment boards No works Nothing Just running your mouth all day Type uh, on a keyboard But that's another lesson I'm going to get to in the spirit or through the spirit it says the Lord is slow Verse 3 Nahum chapter 1 verse 3 The Lord is slow to anger And great in power And will not out, And will not at all Acquit the wicked The Lord have his way In a whirlwind In a storm And his clouds And the dust of his feet He rebuke of the sea And make of it dry And dry up all the rivers But Sean languisheth And Carmel And the flower of Le uh, Lebanon languisheth Let's go into this word languish it says uh, to, to, to be sick, to mourn, to languish, be weak, wax feeble. It, hey, this is what's coming to America, right? A state of mourning, a state of languish, right? It says, the mountains quake at him and the hills melt in the earth and the earth is burned at his presence. Yea, the world and all that dwell therein, who can stand before his indignation who can abide in his fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire and the rocks are thrown down by him. Right? And with all this technology, with all this so-called uh, left-hand wisdom Esau got, right? He ain't going to be able to stand in the day of the Lord's anger. Right? This devil ain't going to be able to stand. Look, the Lord, the Lord going to raise up mighty men. The Lord going, uh, like it says, uh, he's going to turn fishers, which that's what we're out there doing on the highways and byways right now. We're fishing. To hunters, right? When you read the book of Amos, chapter nine, verse two, how we going? How uh, we're going to dig into hell? You know, how the Lord is going to grab them? You know, as they're trying to going to be up in the heavens. What? Nothing better than just go right up the few chapters and read this. The book of Amos, chapter nine, verse two. It says, "Though they dig into hell, thence shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, thence I will bring them down." And this is, what, this is what the Lord is going to do to the elites Because the elites are going to try to hide Right? And he's going to turn his fishers to hunters Which they're going to be the mighty men of Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shai John the book of Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 20 It says Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war For with thee I will break in peace In pieces the nations And with thee will I destroy kingdoms Right? So the Lord He sets up He constructs you know, this movie. Right? He writes the script. And the crazy thing is, like I said, it's all time back to guess what? This is a burden to the elite to know this info of how they have constructed all this. Right? What is the billions of these, of these useless 
uh, uh, FRNs, right? Just constructed all these dumbs, constructed all these different, uh, you know, uh, 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 tech to fight against the holy angels and the Lord to what? To lose. To ultimately lose. And we're telling them that to their face that this wicked kingdom that they have set up the rules of the world and wickedness is going to fall. It's going to fall. And as we see, as if, you know, right now we're the underdog in a flesh. We're the underdog in a flesh. But through the spirit, through the spirit, we on top. We on top. And like I said, so we are burdened to Esau Edom. We're a burden to America, Bethel, and the Great. We're a burden to all the people that want to continue to stay here and live on and watch this wickedness and flourish. Till next time, I want to say, Shalom.